Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, back to do my 12 Days of Christmas, Day 11. Today I watched Christmas Evil. Christmas Evil is a 1980 film, which runs approximately 100 minutes, and is produced, written, and directed by Lewis Jackson. Now, in looking him up, I could only find one, one other thing on him, and it was kind of odd because I had just picked this movie up from a flea market uh, earlier in the week, <laughs> which was The Ghouls, and I believe he wrote that. It's a 2003 film. You have to watch it, though. This film also goes by another title, You Better Watch Out, which is also kind of a fun title. I prefer Christmas Evil myself. I think it's a much better title. This film stars Brandon Maggart as Henry Stadling. Now, Brandon Maggart was in Dress to Kill, The World According to Garp, and a ton of television. I actually think he's a pretty darn good actor. Um, I'm going to give you a very, very brief synopsis on this. This is a movie that has to be seen to be believed. Uh, Harry and his brother are young in the beginning of the film and something traumatic happens to Harry around Christmas time. He then becomes obsessed with Christmas as he's older and starts losing his mind. I'm gonna leave it there and I'm being very brief on purpose. Um, there's a lot of very interesting things in this film and I actually saw this for the very first time Probably in my early, late teens, early 20s. And it, it didn't freak me out. It kind of puzzled me why they were making this film. Because it is very uneven as far as theme. Sometimes it's very lighthearted. And then it goes very dark. And then it's back to being lighthearted. And then it's very dark. It's it's kind of like a roller coaster ride, in my opinion. And the ending is just phenomenal. It's one of those endings that you're either going to love it, like I do, or you're going to hate it. There's usually no in-between with this one. Now, a few interesting things about the film. Uh, John Waters actually recommends this as his favorite Thanksgiving Christmas themed film. Um, Lewis Jackson, the director, based the Christmas office party on his experiences as a caterer. I thought that was pretty cool. This is probably the most fun and the most funny, I guess. But the director came up with this idea after smoking marijuana and having visions of seeing Santa Claus with a knife. <laughs> so. I just thought that was pretty interesting. Kind of took me by surprise. Also, in the main character's house, who's basically obsessed with Santa Claus, he has all these tchotchkes in his house that are Christmas-related. And it took the director ten years to collect all of this Christmas-related stuff, which is how long it took this movie to get made. And of course, this was released and finally made after the, after the success of Halloween. So, that's basically why this movie was made. <laughs> so, now, if you guys are going to watch this one, and this is a high recommendation for me, uh, get the Vinegar Syndrome one. I was talking to a friend of mine, uh, Bronco Juggalo, last night, or a few days ago, or whatever, and... Um, he watched this and did a review on this. Now, I'm sure most of us, in one way, shape, or form, have it in multi-packs that we have. And it's one of those movies that, 
was tied up in domain for a long time. And there are some very, very bad copies out there. If this is a movie that you're interested in, or if you've seen it and you love it like I do, get the Vinegar Syndrome copy of it. Um, this is the Blu-ray DVD combo, I do believe. Yeah, Blu-ray DVD combo. has some pretty cool art on the inside. Um, the transfer is good. I mean, it's, it's really good. Vinegar Syndrome knocks it out of the park. And they've just gotten better when they do their films now. They also released it on DVD. Um, I do believe my friend Thomas, uh, Horror Fan 34, has this on DVD. And I'm sure the transfer is definitely worthy of a watch. So, like I said, if this is one that you're definitely interested in checking out, get the better copy of it. Um, you won't be sorry. It's a fantastic film. And it also has a very neat... Um, I don't know if it has it on the DVD, but I know it has it on the Blu-ray because I have it and I watched it. But it has a uh, response card for test audiences of what they thought of the film. And they're just so much fun to read. So much fun. So if anyone has the DVD, um, definitely comment below and let me know if the DVD has it on it as well. Um, but just hysterical to listen to what people had to say about this film so but i'm going to give this movie an eight this is a favorite of mine of course it's a crazy film and it's definitely fun to watch at christmas time or any other time to be honest so but at eight that is my score and i'm sticking to it and if you like what you see in here hit that like button and subscribe and until next time